let's take off on this one. We are going to push these faces back a little bit so that we can bend a flange on the inside of that thing. So first step, let's go ahead and close this. We'll take a look at it later. I'm going to move these two faces. So that one right there. And then my move tool, move face. I'll zoom in so we can see the buttons a little better. So we got a move face button right there. And then I'm going to get this other edge as well. So I'm going to get both of these done at the same time. We're going to push those in a little bit. So we're going the other way. And it is 0 0.025, I believe. Let's double check that measurement. That is the thickness of our sheet metal because we've got to push it back that far so that it can bend into position. So we've got both of those selected on each side and we're pushing them in. Next, let's go ahead and get a flange going. And right here on the sheet metal tools, I, I'm going to have to click here and find it. I got my flange. And I'll just click on the face right there. It shouldn't go the wrong way, but if it does, you can always flip it around, right? If you need to bend, get it on the inside. And then we were going to change this to 0.5. We don't need it quite so big. And everything else looks fine as far as our settings go. And so I'm going to have to repeat that process over on the other side. We'll go ahead and get my flange tool. Click that face. We're going 0.5. Going to the inside. And that looks just fine. Right? So we moved some faces back so that we could fold it and it would fit correctly. And we made a flange. All right. Good luck.